Our guest with us today is Connie Stewart, clairvoyant medium. Welcome to the show, Connie. Is there a distinction between clairvoyant and medium? And if so, would you explain the difference? Yes, there's definitely a difference. Not all clairvoyants are mediums, and not all mediums are clairvoyant. Clairvoyant is a term we use to describe what's called clear seeing. Now, this is not seeing with the physical eyes, but with the third eye or the intuitive center. There is also a term that we call clairaudient and one clairsentient, which means clear hearing and clear sensing. I do pull in information using all three methods. Some people do not. Um, now, medium is someone who works with energies of people who've crossed over. Again, not all clairvoyants can do this, so we do make the distinction. Is there a difference between what you do and what is commonly referred to as a psychic reading? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, Although I can't deny that I do have psychic ability, I do use it at a deeper level. Um, A common psychic reading might be someone who pulls in information from the psychic realm. But the psychic realm is very volatile, and much like reading a newspaper, the moment it's printed, it's it's really, it's old news. So what we want to do is go deeper, go to the soul level, where we can look at information that's eternal and exclusive to that one person. And at this level, we can actually affect healing, where we cannot do that at the psychic level. Psychic level is information only. Soul level is information and healing. Why would someone come to you for an intuitive session? Well, there are so many reasons, but I would say the the biggest reason is if you feel you're at a crossroads in your life, you have a decision to make and you're very undecided. You're weighing um, opportunities or choices, either in personal relationships, maybe your career, um, in any direction of your life. What's happening is we always have two forces at play. We have the ego, which is the personality, which generally is where we are in our head. And then we have the soul, which is more, um, as I said, something that is in it eternal force within our life we're driven at at a deeper or a higher level to get in balance we really want to look at all things concerned and not just from the ego or the personality level how often would someone come to you for a clairvoyant session well you know people ask this of me very often in a session and I always say to them you know it's not for me to tell you I do not want to create a crutch I actually want to do just the opposite create self-empowerment in the people I work with so I say let your soul let you know if you need to come back that's awesome if you don't that's awesome does the client feel the effect of what you do immediately you know some do some will feel um um an actual movement, a cellular sort of movement, it might feel like a little lightheadedness or tingliness as I'm actually working to clear energetic blocks or balancing chakras. Some don't feel it right away. Some tell me that it takes uh, maybe two or three days for them to start to really feel the effect. Um, I suppose that it can happen also in layers. You might feel some immediately, some within a few days as you integrate. And sometimes it may take a little bit longer, a week or so, before you feel the full effect. It depends on the individual. Now, does the client need to be there with you when you do the reading for them? No, absolutely not. You know, energy knows no bounds. So I do remote work as well as in-person work. I can read for someone by phone. Uh, They can be anywhere in the world. It really doesn't matter. Uh, The same as I can read for someone who's crossed over. I would suppose we could say that they may be quite a distance away, too. Um, I also read for people. People email me, and they have questions for me that way. So I don't have to know you. I don't have to see you. I don't need a picture. If you're not with me in person, I do need a name, a first and a last name, and then that's how I access your energy. Great. Thank you, Connie. Is there anything else you'd like to add to today's show? Well, just basically that... My number one goal is healing, and through the gifts that God gave me, I feel that I am able to help you look into, honestly, your own truth, clear energetic and emotional blocks that hold you back, promote a higher vibration. We're all uh, vibrating, every one of us at every moment, so the higher we bring that vibration, the more overall well-being you will have, the more happiness, abundance, peace you'll have. That's my goal, one person at a time. That's my goal. If you'd like to schedule a session or find out more information from Connie, contact her directly at 619-573-5927. That's 619-573-5927.